Hey, welcome to Smart Forum Builder. My name is Veena Prashant. I'm the creator of this plugin. Today, I'll take you behind the scenes to show you step by step how easy it is to get started with SFB. Within 10 minutes of installing this plugin, you can actually go live with it. We have a simple uh, wizard that's going to help you set up your entire community site. So unlike other uh, community plugins and platforms where there is a big learning curve and then it's going to take you hours or days to set up your community site, it's not like that at all with SFB. We have made it super easy. It's already a really simple, easy to use, intuitive, modern, beautiful uh, community plugin for WordPress and we have made it really easy to get started with it as well. So that's what I'm going to show you now. I'll take you behind the scenes to show you how easy it is to get started with SFB and go live with your self-hosted community in no time. Let's dive in. So after you purchase SFB, you're going to get an email from us with your download details. So log into the site and you'll be able to download SFB zip file from our site. You're also going to get a license key from our site. So these are the two things you're going to need. You're going to need the SFB zip file. You're going to need your SFB license key. Once you have it, you can head back to your site, log into your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, click on add new and click on upload and upload this zip file from your desktop and you can upload it to your site and activate this plugin. All right. Once you activate this plugin, you're going to find Smart Forum in the left sidebar of your WordPress dashboard. Click on it to get started with SFB. So the first page you're going to see when you access SFB is this page, Getting Started. All right, you can also get to it from here. Click on Getting Started. It's going to bring you here. This is our setup wizard. And there are a few things I'm going to show you. Uh, one thing is like how you can get started with your uh, one-click community setup using the setup wizard and also how you can use our AI feature to, in future, if you want to create more forums or topics of discussion, you can do this using AI as well. I'll show you that also. All right, so let's start with this. So click on getting started and it's going to bring you here. You can see here, this will explain to you like how SFB works, the basic structure of your community. It's important that you understand how this works. You're going to have categories at the top. You're going to have forums under each category. You can add multiple forums, one or more forums under each category. There is no limit. And you can add multiple topics of discussion. Topics are like uh, posts, right? Blog posts. But these are custom posts that are created within SFB. And so you can have as many topics as you want, as many posts as you want. You can create the topics or you can have your users create the topic uh, of discussion. And you can configure different forums differently. Some forums you can say, you know, only I'm going to be creating uh, different topics and users are just going to participate by commenting and engaging with it. Or you can say, my users can introduce themselves. So I'm going to create an introduction forum where users can write a post to introduce themselves or different types of forums where you want to allow users to add a new topic of discussion. For example, feedback forum where users can add a new topic or question and answers forum where they can ask you questions. They can add a new post to ask questions. So it's up to you like how you design or how you configure each one of your forums, but you can do that. So this is the basic structure of community in SFB. It's going to give you so many options because you're going to have categories at the top. Then you will have forums under each category. You can have one or more topics under each forum. So the next step is where you're going to enter some details about your community. For example, here you can see the first thing is like the slug. Slug is the URL, what you want your community URL to be. In my case, I have set this to simple community. That's the default, but you can change it to call it whatever you want. And who do you want to bring together? Who is your target audience? This is one question you need to answer. For example, here I'm going to enter online business owners and community description. So here you can write your own description if you want. And also, if you don't know, you know, what to call your community or looking for some ideas or community description, use AI for this. You can do that too, all right? You can use OpenAI or you can use ChatGPT. If you want to use OpenAI, you will have to, you need an, op you need an OpenAI account paid credits account, and you need to enter your OpenAI credentials in SFB settings page. But you don't have to use OpenAI. You can use ChatGPT. It's pretty straightforward. So select ChatGPT. I'm going to select that here. And do you want your community to be private or public? So community can be private or public. If it's a public community, anyone can get to it, your main community page. But even though they can get to it, right, whether or not they can access each one of your forums really depends on the rules. You can make some of your forums public, which is what I would recommend. So everyone can see it. They can get a taste of what your community looks like and make some of them private. You know, you can set up different rules for access for your more exclusive forums. So that's up to you how you set this up. You know, you can always change these settings. You can always go to SFB settings page. You can change whatever you want. You can change the community description, name. Um, and uh, private, public, everything, right? You can change whatever you want. Next. 
So this is the prompt. Copy this and enter this in chat GPT. It's going to give you back a few ideas for community description, community name. You can pick one and get started with it. Again, if you already know what you want to call it and what your community is about, you don't need the AI stuff. But if you don't, it's an easy way to get started. And be sure to wait until chat GPT completes generating the response. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Copy the code from here. Go back to SFB. Enter that here. Next. That's it. You can see uh, this is the description. Online Business Connect is a vibrant community tailored for online business owners. So you can pick any one of this, right? So this is the name and this is the description, but you can always change it. Call it whatever you want. So I'm just going to select the first one and next. So pick a title, right? So we picked the description in the previous step. So you can pick a title here. So if you don't like it, no problem. You can change it, but I'm just going to pick this one. Next. Pick some colors, brand colors. This is the default. You can always change it. Again, you can do this in the settings page. I'm just going to select the default, upload a logo image for your site. And next, that's it. All right, so your basic setup is done. And now you can use this one-click setup. Just click this button and it's going to set up some of your uh, some of the key forums and topics for you. I highly recommend this because this way you don't have to set up all of your basic stuff, you know, like an introduction forum, welcome forum, announcement forums, community uh, policies, rules forums, so all of that you would need uh, most likely, right? Uh, so it's going to help you set that up. It's going to set it up for you. You can always update the content and you should update the content, right? But it's going to make it easy because now you will understand like how it works, how it looks in the front end. It's so much easier to do it once it's already set up for you. So this is what I would recommend. So click on this. So it's going to bring you here, import forums and topics and click on this button and it's going to complete the setup. All right, all done. So this is the main URL. Let's go ahead and check it out in the front end. All right, you can see here, this is how it looks. And it looks awesome by default. And I haven't even done anything, right? We just click the button and it's all done. That's it. All right, you can see this was the name. This is the main community description we entered. Like I said, you can always update it in the back end. So there are two categories currently in this community that SFB has added for you. So start here is a category. Questions and events is a category. These are pre-built categories. And you can see here on the left side navigation as well, start here and questions and events. So users can get to each one of your forums from here as well, or they can click on this and it's going to bring them to the forums page. All right, so this is the main forums page. You can see there are six forums right here. You can see it here as well, six forums. And there are two different views here. Users can switch to whatever view they like. It says you have access to these forums because these are all like public forums and I have not set up any access rules in the backend. But if you have set up access rules and if the logged in member does not have access to certain forums, it's also going to show another tab here that will say you do not have access to these forums. That's a great way for you to upsell uh, the forums that they don't yet have access to. And if they click on it, it's going to say, sorry, you don't have access, click here to get access. And it will let them know how they can get access to those premium forums. Let's go ahead and head to the welcome forum. This is the welcome forum right here. And you can see the topic is already here, right? There is only one topic of discussion. That's why it brought me here directly. There's just one topic. And this is the welcome post, right? Welcome to our community. And obviously you should update all the content as needed. There is some default content just to give you some ideas like what you can say here, what you can do here. Add a welcome video here. This is just a dummy video, but you should add a welcome video here to welcome members to your community. Uh, that's gonna help. And let them know what to expect and what you're expecting from them. Users can leave a comment. Also, there is a voting option here. Users can upvote, you know, specific uh, comments if they like, specific posts if they like. So there are lots of options. They can also downvote it if they want, right? And users can edit the comment, delete the comment. All of these options are here. Under the introductions forum, you can see this is the one. And users can introduce themselves. And also they can add a post to introduce. They don't just have to leave a comment here, they can add a new post. So you can see here, I just added this post and this is how it looks. Also, you have two options. Say that users submit a post and you want it to be submitted for approval because you are worried about spam uh, and you don't want people to just, you know, say whatever they want in your community. You want to check it first, make sure it's fine to approve it and then approve it. So if you want to do that, you can set it to require approval in the back end. But by default, it's going to be set to auto approve. So you don't have to worry about that. But in case you want to uh, require uh, approvals, you can do that too. All right. So now let me quickly show you community guidelines, this one, announcements. So all of this you can update in the back end. So in the announcement section, if you want to 
prevent users from adding a post. You just want to use it to for news and announcements. You can do that. So let me quickly show you some of these other uh, forums, testimonials, where users can leave you a testimonial if you want, and ask questions forum where they can ask questions. Again, you can change this to say ask a question, all right? So you can change the text to whatever you want for each one of your forums and upcoming events where uh, you can, you know, whenever you have a new event coming up, you can add information about that. And uh, let me just show you this member spotlight. Another thing you should definitely add to increase member engagement where you can shine a light on uh, your members, members that are active participants in your community, engaging with others, helping other members, you can shine a light on them. Let me quickly show you the activity feed. This is the home uh, page for your community site. And you can see here, this is the activity feed. Your members can post whatever is on their mind. Each member is going to get their own activity feed where they can share whatever they want in their activity feed. And it's up to them if they want all the members to see it, only friends to see it. So this is how it works. And once they share whatever they want, who sees it depends on who's following them, who's friends with them, similar to like Facebook, right? So others can send friend requests to each other and they can connect with each other. And that's how it works. All right. So here you can see I have, this is just a brand new site, right? I just posted this here and others will see it in their feed on the right side. The widget that you see, this community rules widget, recently added forums widget, recently added post widget, recently added comments. All of these things you can configure in the back end. By default, it's all going to be there. Whichever ones you don't want, you can remove it. That's up to you. All right. So this is the member directory where all your members are going to show up here and people can search, right? And you can also say member directory feature is only available to my logged in members. This way only logged in members can use the directory feature to find other members, send them a friend request, follow them and all that stuff. Or you can say it's available to anyone, right? It's public uh, member directory. And if you're running that kind of community where members know that this is a public directory, you can do that. Otherwise, I would recommend making it private and uh, only logged in members can find other members. And members can opt out. If they don't want to be listed in the directory, they can opt out. They can make their profile private. They can make their profile public. All right, so all that options we have here. And I'm gonna have different videos to explain all of that to you, but uh, just wanted to show you this quickly. All right, this is a profile page and you can have your members upload an image and uh, you can see here profile completion status. This is going to encourage your members to upload a profile image and add a location. This way others mem other members can find people that are in the same location as them and connect with them. Profile bio, they can add information about you know, what they do. Community rules, this one is going to be there for you. You can update it as needed. I wanted to show you also like how to use AI to create new topics, new forums, right? Depending on what you do, what you need. You can do that using the AI feature we have here. For example, you go to all forums. Here you'll see, you can add it manually or you can say create forums using AI. So if you want to build new forums other than the ones SLB has already created, you can do that. You can select category. You can create a category and you can use AI to... Um, create your forum. I'm going to have a different video where I will show you step by step how you can use AI to create different forums, different topics and all of that, or you can just manually create it. You don't have to use AI, but we just make it easy so that if you don't know exactly what type of forums to create, what type of discussions you can have in those forums, uh, SFP makes it easy. All right. If you go to topics and posts, you can do the same thing here. You can say create new topics. And if you want to create topics, you just have to select the forum under which you want to create new topics and it's going to add all of these uh, for you, right? We just make it easy for you. I'll explain this to you in more detail in a different video. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so already. This way you will be the first to know when I publish new videos like this. And I'll be publishing a lot more videos about SFB. So you're going to find all kinds of videos here. You can also go to smartforumbuilder.com slash blog where you're going to find a lot more information about SFB and how to get started and all of that stuff, all right? And if you want to deactivate any of the forums, any of the topics that SFB has created for you, all you have to do is like switch this off. That's it. It's going to disappear from the front end. In a different video, I'll talk to you about uh, access, right? Forum access, how you can set up different permissions and allow people to do different things in your forum. Uh, I'm going to show you that in a different video. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and if you have not yet signed up for SFP, it's a no-brainer because there are so many different options in this plugin and it's so easy to get started, so easy to use this plugin as I just showed you. And so go to smartforumbuilder.com uh, to learn more. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.